State your name for the camera. Joshua Krantz. Megan Severia. And go ahead. Don't have to be as long as the last one. Hi, I'm Josh. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you, Megan. What brings you in here today? Um, I've been just kind of going through some issues of just going through some manic episodes and trying to get my medicine under control and trying to kind of get myself together with trying to deal with my past and be there for my family. Okay. Um, you said dealing with your past. Um, we'll go back to the other stuff, but what are you dealing with your past? Can you tell me more about that? Um, I just got out of a really bad two-year relationship, um, very mm. abusive, a lot of drug use, and just kind of had to get myself out of that, and just a lot of trauma dealing with that. Okay. Um, so you're in, abuse, in, a, in an abusive relationship, you said? Yes. Okay. Um, which, obviously, yeah, that would bring a lot, a lot of trauma. Um, how long ago was that? Um, it was about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, are you still involved with that person or are they still no. in your life? No, I have an order of protection against me and my daughter from him and trying to stay clear of that situation. Okay. And he's your he's your daughter's father? Yes. Okay. Um he was he abusive with your child at all or no? No, just he you? was only around her for the first month of her life. Okay, so it's really just you're focusing on yourself yeah. with with him. I gotcha. All right. Um you have the order of protection, so that's definitely a step in the right direction. You said you were uh, trying to get your 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 life in order. What what were you? Uh, what was your first step? What are you trying to do? To um, I kind of like that? took a step back and like got like finally got my own place, trying to get back on my feet and just trying to be there. Like recently, just got engaged, so I'm just trying to like. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm um, just trying to be there, and not be so like kind of timid or trying to not not let my past define my future I guess you could say okay okay very good um do you are you going to school um I'm currently or are you, in you between doing careers that? not deciding on like what I want to do yet and okay what's your what's your job at the moment um I, I'm a server okay so you're in the human services industry yep. the service industry um all right where do you uh, where do you see yourself where do you want to end up um I want to end up like hopefully trying to like overcome with not feeling depressed every day and hopefully like find a stable job and kind of settle down. Feeling depressed. What's, uh, you, you said you're feeling depressed. Expand on that. What are you, uh, it's, what's um, making you depressed? The past relationship, it kind of like, I go through like every day, like trying to feel like trying to feel better about myself every day. I feel worthless and because everything that like I went through with him, it mm -hmm. kind of just brings me down. Okay. Okay. Is it, um, I want to say being reflected into your new relationship? I don't think so. I'm trying not to let it affect my relationship, but sometimes I feel like if if he doesn't treat me a certain way, like I should be getting treated this way, not this way, because I'm used to getting treated like down upon. Okay, so you're used to being treated poorly. Yes. And you don't want to be treated poorly. No. <laughs> But your your new the person that you're you're engaged to is he treats you very well. Yes. Okay. So I'm. Let's go back. It he if he treats you well, then you and you don't want to be treated poorly. I just I got a little confused in the wording that you used. I think it's just he treats me well, and I feel like I should get treated poorly because that's what I'm used to. Okay, I understand exactly what you're saying now. Um, okay, and I I understand how you you know how you could feel that way. Um, you know, I think, I think a lot of people get, if you, if you're in a relationship like that, where you're in an abusive relationship or poor, poor relationship, um, you kind of get used to it mm -hmm. and feeling that way, but it's something that you should start to look, you know, look at the positive side of things to kind of see the benefits that you have in the good relationship. Mm -hmm. If he's a good person and treats you well, um, don't focus so much on that, that negative part of your past. It's just very hard to kind of like snap back into reality because I just always go back to it. And mm -hmm. It was just a, it's a long, it wasn't really that long, but it's, it was very impactful. A large portion feel. of your life. Yeah. A big impact on your life, like a imprinting yeah. stage. Um, and you said you were taking medications and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that for the 
well, depression was, side of it? Yes, I was diagnosed with bipolar when I was 13. Okay. So, like, I have mood swings and the depression and the manic states, and I'm mm-hmm. just trying to, like, stay on that medicine and trying to figure out which is the right suit for okay. my manic episodes. Are you, well, you're here for that, too. So, mm-hmm. would that be something you'd want to tackle first? Yes. To tackle, okay. So, tell me about your your episodes or your bipolar episodes. Um, sometimes I'll be going through like there's like these weeks that I'm just like on like a cleaning spree and like there's nothing wrong with me. The littlest things like I kind of just like brush off and I'm always in a good mood and there's nothing that can battle me. And then like a switch will flick and then I will be in my bed and just stay there for days upon days. And the medications don't help. Um, I was on a certain medication and then it just it wasn't agreeing with my system. Okay. So then they had to switch it. All right, and they switch to something that's working or isn't working? It's it's working. It's just I'm trying to, like, get my moods more under control, my depressive moods, not mm-hmm. really my manic moods. Okay. Well, I mean, I think that's, if you're here for that, too, I mean, that's, I think, the area where we should start if you mm-hmm. want to continue yeah. with therapy um, or, or our sessions. I think starting with that and getting your moods under control is going to, reflect through your relationship, through your life, mm-hmm. helping you with, you know, g- getting yourself in order. Mm-hmm. Staying in an environment like this is going to help you stay on track. Because if you're switching back and forth from a depressed mood to uh, a non-depressed mood, we can, I can try to help you steer mm-hmm. yourself into a single track so that you can progress forward and continue with your life. Would that be something that you'd want to do? Yes. Then let's do it. Sound good? Sound good. All right. Thanks for coming.